So, uh, so thank you all for coming here today. It's, it's very nice to, to, um, to have, be able to have, sign this compact and to have Lieutenant Governor come in time uh, to fulfill uh, an obligation we made to her many months ago now that we'd actually like to put together a compact and, and have the state help us work on some of the key issues in town. The document we're going to sign today is designed to, to help the town get resources to address two important elements. The first is um, a community-sponsored agriculture initiative. As you, everyone in town knows, we bought the Pratt Farm earlier this year, actually late last year, I take it back. And, um, and one of the uses we hope to have on it is, is agriculture to fulfill one of the goals of the community, which has always been to have a community-sponsored agriculture all over the town. But there's a lot that goes with that. It's not just about setting up the farm and, and growing the vegetables. It's actually how we take everything from there to let the community get access to it. So uh, after having thought about this uh, significantly, we, um, we approached the Lieutenant Governor's office with this idea that we would um, do a compact to help have them help us establish best practices for how to, uh, to set up such an operation and make it work in, in an efficient manner and, and also how to benefit their residents of the town. And then the second part of this compact is something completely different, which is we have, for a long time in town, had a very good relationship with the Chamber of Commerce. Um, and through them, everyone remembers several years ago now, we set up a group called uh, Hawkington 2020 that's actually been more of a visionary enterprise. Um, but we still think we can do better. Um, the, um, the downtown is growing quickly. We have a lot of, of growth in town in general. And, and we always want to talk about how we can grow our business space and how we can sort of address the needs of the community by, by bringing quality businesses to town and make the residents' lives better. So again, as part of the second part of this compact is we approached the Lieutenant Governor's office and asked if there was a way that we could work to design some best practices for how, how we can set these sort of public private partnerships in a more robust fashion to help us act in a more integrated way. And then when, when major issues in town approach, first of all, we can be able to deal with them more comprehensively. And second of all, and this is the, the real dream, is we can actually be more thoughtful beforehand and have more of a strategic vision and a plan so that we can actually proactively go out and, and bring these kind of entities to town and, and make the town run better uh, as a result. So I'm, I'm thankful for Lieutenant Governor for, uh, for agreeing to do work with us on all these projects, and I'm very happy you're here today to sign. Well, uh, thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure to be with the board and Norman and you, Ben, as well, uh, to uh, follow through on a conversation we had several months ago. And as a, an extension of uh, the governor's very first executive order around building a stronger commonwealth by strengthening each community in our commonwealth. We have 351 uh, cities and towns. I'm chasing all of them, uh, but I'm very proud to sign this compact today. In, in Hopkinton, you are the 115th community to sign a compact, uh, which demonstrates that this is a program that's working. Uh, a lot of interest among uh, the municipalities. And I think the reason why is because it, it is available to all communities, whether it's an urban community or more rural or a suburban community like Hopkinton. There's something in it for everyone to do a little bit better and more for the community uh, that you serve. Uh, the other part of this, which I get so excited about, is that, first of all, it's voluntary, so kudos to you for that. It's funded, and we will fund the, the consultants and technical assistants who achieve the best practices, you actually put them in place. And third, the best part of this is that you are able to bring your team together and really think about where Hopkinton is and what your vision is for the future. And what help do you need to actually get from A to B? And you designed a compact that is particular and unique to your community. Uh, so there is no other compact like this. <laughs> there, this is really a, a strategy uh, that you have put in place that we're very help, happy to help uh, support. Uh, so that's why this is a, a great program, uh, because the communities can decide what they want to do, and we help you to support them. Now, we just left a meeting about economic development in the Metro West area. And so your idea about how can you partner with other communities in this region? How can you partner with the business community? How can you better position Hopkinton to attract more employers that are right for this community to be here? So you're preparing for success. You're preparing for those opportunities through this best practice. And then, of course, uh, one of the reasons why so many people like 
Hopkinton, and they've decided that this is where they want to lay their roots and, and raise their family, is because of the quality of life that you offer here. You have great schools, and then you have you know, great sports and activities, and the quality of life here is, is really you know, high. And to have an opportunity to work with the Pratt family and preserve um, a farm that has been such a part of the fabric of this community, literally, and then at the same time, I uh, use some of the property nearby to uh, support the kids and the youth and the programs that attract many families to want to be here is really uh, uh, quite impressive. And so we are very happy to engage our uh, team in the Department of Agriculture to work with you around how to do this, how to blend these different uses so that it works uh, for the long term, or, you know, decades ahead. Uh, for the town of Hopkinton. So uh, thank you for participating. Thank you for recognizing the value of this program. And I should say this too, uh, at the MMA <coughs> we just announced that uh, the communities that are participating in the compact, which Hopkinton is now one of them, can now compete for an information and technology grants. Uh, so we will offer up to $400,000 in grants for an IT project in your community. So if you can think of a way to use technology to solve some of your local problems, you've got some ideas, <laughs> some ideas okay, you should apply. Uh, so the idea of this program is to incentivize you know, good decision making. And by being a compact community, you will now get bonus points for the larger statewide grants that are available, from MassWorks, which is the infrastructure grant program, to parks, to complete streets. Uh, you have you know, put yourself on uh, the list a, a little higher place uh, to be considered for some of those funds. So good for you, really strong leadership here. I sense a lot of energy and commitment and more importantly forward thinking, you know, where Hopkinton uh, needs and wants to be and we're very happy to be here today to support uh, your efforts to help you achieve this success. So are we, are we ready to try? I said this in the last one, January 26th is an anniversary date here in our Commonwealth because it was one year ago that Snowmageddon began. <laughs> we had over 26 inches, 30 inches in some places in our Commonwealth a year ago today and I'm really happy that uh, today is a nice, bright, clear day for all of us. <laughs> The trains are moving. They, uh, good. They <laughs> are. Governor, thank, thank you, so you much. very yeah, much. And the trains are moving today. Thank you very much. Thank you.